My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to talk to you about the benefits of tracking vocals with compression. And so I've got a hip hop vocal here that I recently tracked. Uh, last month I got a new compressor. It's the Sebatron Smack, uh, which is a dual mono stereo uh, optical compressor uh, from a company in Australia. So, you know, I love optical compression on vocals, uh, especially singing vocals. But uh, for the hip hop vocal, I want to try out the compressor and. I tracked one vocal with compression and one without compression. And so we're going to listen to those two and we're going to go through the differences. And so I can show you the benefits of what tracking uh, through a good compressor will do for your vocal. So first we're going to listen to the vocal without any compression. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Okay, so the vocal chain for this vocal was the SE, I forget that model number, 2000C. I'll put the picture up here to make sure I get it right, but. Uh, that the SE into the my Dizen Golf DA2 into the Sebatron Smack into the Orion 32. So with that vocal, uh, you can hear we have some some loud parts, and we have some parts where the vocal gets quiet. And you know, a lot of rappers have a tendency to move in and out of the microphone, and a lot of times that would cause that. Uh, sometimes they're running out of breath and their uh, the vocal volume will come down some. So let's focus on the quieter parts first. So let's let's listen one more time. I'm gonna play it through twice and just listen to where uh, the vocal starts to to fade a little bit, where you feel like you're you're losing the volume on the vocal. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Okay, so listen to the beginning of bar 31 and 32. Uh, the Ima. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. But I'm real and I'm a is, you know, two parts where we're losing volume there on the vocal. And that is something that tracking through a compressor can correct. And now let's listen to the loud parts of ball and wall. Listen to how strong and loud those two words are. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. And uh, talk too. Okay, so now let's switch over to the vocal with uh, compression. And you even just looking at the waveforms, you'll see that the one with compression is quieter, uh, but I did turn up the fader a little bit on it so we can you know, kind of level match it here. So this is the vocal with compression. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. So listen how, how smooth that is. Everything is leveled out. Everything's the same level. Uh, those quieter parts, uh, I'm real and I'm a, listen to those in the track with compression. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. And you can hear the compression brought that up. Now, uh, let's listen to ball and wall. Remember, those were really strong in the track without compression. Listen to how they sound now with compression. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the great wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. 
Okay, now I'm going to play it and we're going to flip between the two with compression and without compression so you can hear the immediate difference. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the Great Wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the Great Wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. Pimping hard like eight ball, my money long like the Great Wall. I'm real, you all talk. I'm a pimp with no heart. You can even hear the the track with compression even has more clarity in it uh, as well. So you know huge benefits of tracking your vocal with compression one by doing this i have less compression and i may not even need to add more compression when it comes time to mix and you know two getting a, a great vocal up front it, just, it really saves you a lot of time now you don't want to overdo this was uh, i think maybe three db of compression on the vocal uh, not a lot of compression just a little bit uh, low ratio I think it was a probably a two two to one or three to one is generally what I use so there are some benefits of tracking a vocal with compression now this isn't something that you have to do you don't have to track your vocal with compression in order to get a good vocal sound you're, you're very capable of doing that without a compressor so you know if you're if you're tracking vocals and you just have a mic and a mic pre, that's totally fine. You can always compress later. Just I find that tracking with compression just helps along the way. You know, if you can, uh, give it a try. Like I said, you need to not overdo it, so you want to make sure you're not over compressing. Uh, but give it a try when you're recording vocals. See if it works for you. You know, some people like to, well, many people like to track vocals with compression. Some don't. Certainly your preference. But all right, I'll catch y'all next time.